Hey, what's up? This is Equis, and thank you for listening to the GameX Presents Podcast, the place where we talk about anything tech, from gadgets to video games, all the way to discussing some other current events. If you enjoyed the podcast, please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment from your own experience on what we talked about on the show to feedback. Make sure to follow GameX Presents on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. But for now, please enjoy the show. All right, welcome to another episode of GameX Presents, the podcast. We are finally in episode number 10. Yeah. Um, this is Equis. This is Stuff. And this is Vitalino. And um, hopefully, since for the Big Ten... Hopefully, at the beginning, I'll have some kind of sing- signature song or if, intro. If you heard it, be very proud of us. Yes. So give you, us a thumbs up. <laughs> so hopefully, if you, if you did not hear it, you know, just tough no. shit. No. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> for the Big Ten, we try to trying to upgrade our our production value, and I think we're we've been improving. What do you think? Been improving. I, I believe we have. Well, our, our, one of our biggest fans, uh, shout out to Ryder. Yeah. Ryder. What's up? So it's like, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, if Ryder is doing a drinking game, uh, he, he will, he will get really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get yes, messed up according by the end of the episode. App- apparently there should be a drinking game for every time. Um, Eki says it's like, <laughs> and every time I say correct. <laughs> so how's everybody's? Uh, so just just for the hell of it, correct, 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 yeah. correct, correct. It's like um. Well, but we don't have anything for Victorino yet. So he, yeah, now every he, time he talks, you can just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every, every time he talk, he says anything. That's a drink. So. Uh, how are you guys? What what, what have you guys been we up to off, this week? Uh, we, we, I've been good. Um, we, we missed a week, didn't we? We missed a week, but people listening to this won't notice because we've been a week delayed yeah. anyway. So basically, we're Pretty, finally caught up. We are right on schedule. We're getting caught up. so Or yeah. schedule, or yeah, however had, you want to say it. Uh, chill do. Yeah, we had um, stuff to do last week. So, so uh, yeah, we just took a little thing off and... You know, it's took a little thing up. <laughs> it's great. You know, it's soft. No, <laughs> other news. No. So yeah, it's been good. Uh, nothing exciting. Nothing. Uh, stay fair. I went there. It sucked. Th- th- did you have a cream puff? I had a cream puff. Uh, <laughs> cause my uh dad's company had a little tent there, so they just had like free food. So it was like oh, free, free food. It's good. Free burgers and but but I know you, you have a you have an issue with cream puffs. Yeah, I don't know if anybody else listening to this knows what cream puffs are. Uh, are are they just a Wisconsin thing? No, I don't, I don't think so. Right, but I think that's like what makes State Fair special or something. Yeah. The, well, yeah but so what is it? Is it like uh, frozen whipped cream on like on two breads buns. or something? Yeah, I mean. Don't, don't. I like cream puffs. Basically, I, mean, I I think they're tasty, but I I do agree with you with, with the 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 idea that they just make such a damn big deal out of them. Yeah, it, it's so overrated. Like, I, if given a choice between a cream puff and a cinnabon, I'll get the well, cinnabon. Duh. <laughs> like, given it, a choice between a cinnabon and saving your brother, you would probably uh, nah, I'll probably get the cinnabon. Depends. Yeah. If, if my brother bought me the Cinnabon, no. <laughs> but yeah, they're just overrated. They're like nothing special. Like, I wouldn't be like, oh man, I got to go get a cream puff. Yeah, correct. I, like, I if mean, it's there and if free. It's there, I'll, well, I, I would even pay for one, but yeah, I'm not like, oh my God, I got to get to State Fair and go through the hassle and hell of going to that damn place. I hate State Fair. Where is that place you haven't anyway? noticed. I mean, I like stay fair if you go with like, Not like a group of people that you yeah, like hanging out with. Any place full of people, I'm just not a fan. And uh, and if you have money, yeah, yeah it's if you have good. lots of money, you you can probably have a good time. But if you're a broke ass guy and all you had to do, all, you wasted all your money on the parking and on the entrance. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna have a good time. Yeah, correct. That it, it really is the type of place where where you have to go with the mentality of I'm just gonna 
pay a lot of money for things that are not worth it. Yeah, exactly. But there's a a lot of a lot of good looking women over there though. A lot of Cubans. A lot of Cubans over there. So I'll give them that, you know. So anyways, how about you, Vic? Mm, Torino. Not, not much. <laughs> Trying to keep up with the Ace Combat Infinity. Trying to get news on there for my viewers. Apparently that people really love my Ace Combat. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's that's our highest rated viewed. Yeah, that's cool. Ace Combat. I oh yeah. Well, should we proceed or? Yeah, yeah, yeah for segue from that is uh, I just got finally the Metal Gear uh, Legendary Collection, so I'm very excited about that. But too bad it came out right before I'm gonna start going back to school. taking classes and getting an actual job. <laughs> uh, so how dare it? Yeah, it's gonna interfere. So well, too bad job. I'm not gonna go to work. <laughs> <laughs> I have to play Metal Gear. But uh, at yeah. least you have your priority streak. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I need lots of views for lots of no, <laughs> to make money. Yeah. So how about you? Anything? No. Uh, Any new things you got? No, oh, man, I got nothing new. Uh, I've been just working. I've, I've actually been working at work. <laughs> you actually been working. Well, that's good. Yeah. It's. Oh, working on uh, rooting your phone. No. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, I I did. Uh, Install a new ROM in my phone that ended up like completely messing up my 4G. So I wasn't getting LTE anymore. So going from, you know, Verizon LTE to Verizon 3G, <laughs> it, it, it's a huge thing. But e eventually I did get it fixed. It, it, it did take a while, but I get it fixed. It's all back to normal. So I'm happy. Okay. You didn't, you didn't, oh, and uh, Victorino got a new phone. He got the, oh, yeah. the what's it called, the Samsung Galaxy S4. Yeah, the S4. How you like it so far? Uh, really a big improvement over the S2. <laughs> yeah, he's, that's for sure. he jumped, he jumped from S2 to, to S4. And, and, like, and that's the way it should be, really. Yeah. I mean, if you have an S3, there's really no, in my opinion, there isn't yes. really a good reason to jump to the S4. But. Yeah, because yeah, because if you're gonna spend money on just going to the next thing, the next thing is like, if you wait a gener or uh, not a generation, a but like phone, wait a, a phone year. How, how would you yeah phone year yeah, <laughs> and you skip a phone year and then you, then you can see the improvement, but Correct. if you keep imp uh, every time one a new phone comes out, keep like upgrading, then it's kind of pointless. You don't see no improvement. You'll no. see slight improvement, then you'll be like, oh, it's slightly better. Yeah, you should have waited. I, I I still believe that the the generation of phones of the S three, the phones that came out you know last year, I still believe that they were just good enough. Uh, where this year, I, I don't know about you, but this year every time I see a new phone, I'm like, eh, okay, whatever. Like I haven't seen anything extremely awesome. Yeah. Um, and I think that it has to do with the fact that the last generation, they were just really good phones. I mean, we already are at a point where you can't really open up applications any faster. I mean, they already are pretty damn instant. Yeah, because at this yeah at this point, it's basically all you're going to see is the wear of the phone. And then when you get the new phone, then it's like, you know, you, you're starting fresh. Mm -hmm. So, so this, I wasn't planning on talking about this yet, but... May as well get into it, the, the whole Moto X. So the, the Moto X was just announced earlier in the week. Uh, and and that's the whole point of the Moto X, the fact that, hey, uh, phones are already fast enough. So let's not worry about making them faster. Let's worry about making them work better. Like refine. So... For those of you who don't know, the Moto S is the first phone made between Google and Motorola. Google bought Motorola last December. And, you know, they, they've been working together on the Moto S. Uh, Motorola just announced a whole new lineup of Droid phones, but those were like leftover phones that they had already been working on before Google j bought them. Mm -hmm. So the Moto S is supposed to be the first true Motorola slash Google phone. Um, 
and in, instead of going with the latest specs, um, they decided to go with making things a little bit different. So, you know, instead of putting some quad core awesome CPU in there, they decided to go with a dual core CPU because for what we do with phones nowadays, that should be more than good enough. Yeah. Um, but they didn't just put the, the dual core CPU. They also went, you know, they know that for gaming, you you need a lot of power. So they did throw in a, a pretty decent quad core CPU for gaming. I mean, quad core GPU. Uh, then they went ahead and they put two smaller uh, CPUs in there for very specific things. So they're very, like, for example, the phone has a feature that it's always listening to you mm. in case you, you, you say something. I mean, it's always listening for the, for the phrase Google, okay, Google now, mm -hmm. uh, so that you, it can open Google now and then you can ask it things without even having to touch the phone. Or if you, if you do this on a normal phone, it's always going to have the CPU running and you have this huge CPU running just for that, it's going to be a lot of power consumption. So what they did is they, 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 one of the small CPUs that they put in there, they are very low voltage CPUs, and its only job is to just listen mm -hmm. for, that, for that phrase, which, by the way, it listens, but it's all being done internally. It's all being done in the phone. It's not sending information anywhere. As far as we know. As far as we know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what Google tells us. Yeah, you know how that's. Great. But you know, per personally, I'm like, you know, a, a lot of people they they do uh, have concerns about that, and the way I see it is like any phone can be hacked. So just just because your phone doesn't have an always on feature doesn't mean it can't be on listening to you. Anybody could hack your phone and use the camera or use the speaker. I mean, the microphone. So, I don't know. I don't see it as such a big deal. I mean, yeah, I guess at this point in time, you should basically... Because if, if you're talking on the phone to, like, your friend, you should automatically have in the back of the mind that NSA is hearing you anyways. Yeah. So at, at the very least, the NSA is listening to you. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, so... They're recording. Who do you trust more, the NSA or Google? No. <laughs> but uh, so, but what do you think but, of the? But let let's not even go that route with the NSA or Google. Uh, you know, a lot of people have all these concerns about how much information Google knows about you. But what about Comcast? What about uh, Time Warner? What about Verizon? Yeah, they, you know, they th th those are the internet service providers. They they Google knows what you type on Google. On their but products. Time Warner knows what you Time do. Time Warner knows everything. <laughs> All the everything. sites you know, go to. Yeah, and Comcast knows everything that you, that, that you go to. Yeah. And I sure as hell wouldn't trust those guys. You know, I have to because otherwise I don't have internet. But, you know, I, I have a lot more faith on Google than I will ever have on Time Warner or Comcast or Horizon or yeah. AT&T. And, and people don't usually look at that. You know, people love to think about, oh, Facebook or or Google or what about the people actually giving you that line of internet? Yeah, so basically, there like there is no such thing as privacy anymore. Like there is uh, online, uh, you just have to assume unless you just go something. Amish, <laughs> like uh, off the grid, everything. Like don't use the internet, don't use phones, don't use any kind of technology. Use a a, a damn see, I, cup. I, and I a prefer string. to just to just accept that I'm not that interesting. <laughs> And that there's really nothing, nothing for anybody. Just to don't say the poor magic uh, backpacks. No, don't say backpacks. Don't search for backpacks and pressure, pressure cookers in pressure the same cookers. Google account. Oh, same uh, search in, on uh, your work computer. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what uh, uh, about the, uh, the Moto X? Um, oh yeah, back to the Moto. So X. what do you think of the price though? The price that they have for that phone. You know. Um, what what my first my my very first impression was like what the hell like why are they charging 
the same as the high-end phones for, for something that, even though I agree with the idea that we don't need specs, you're still charging me the same as a system that has the specs. Um, so that was my first impression. And I started thinking, well, you know, it is assembled in the U.S., so I'm sure that cost them much more. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I'm 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 still like, I don't know. I I think my issue and the issue that a lot of people had was the fact that we kept hearing about how this is now Google's phone because mm -hmm. it is Motorola Google, correct. Uh, and we expected Nexus type pricing. Yeah. And that's that's not what we got. Um, so. So so that part is a little bit disappointing. Uh, the 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 comment that I did hear somewhere that kind of made me think is, uh, if Google Motorola can can sell us this phone for this price which is a phone um, assembled in America, why are the other companies charging us that same price for a phone that obviously costs them a lot less because it is assembled somewhere else? So then it becomes not a question of why is Google charging us so much? It's more of why are the other companies charging us so much? Yeah, because yeah, especially like, well, I don't know, like all the... The economic uh, things of like how much you're paying the workers here or or any of that, but I, I wonder like how much like because it is true how much are they paying the people over there at uh, what Foxconn and All how right. much are they paying the people here, you know and and how much are they saving with the because the parts are still made you know in, in yeah, China yeah, or whatever. I'm sure the parts are still made in, in China or wherever. So if it's just assembled here in the United States, then you know, you know, of course, those are th uh, like uh, economic things that we would have to like actually right. do I research mean, about. But but yeah, it's but, correct. But, yeah, you know, the overall mo point. Most of these factories, they they end up getting paid like a few dollars a day per person, while over here it's it's quite a few dollars per hour. Yeah. So. You know, it does kind of make you wonder, like, okay, if Google can actually manage to sell me the phone for the same price, even though it's assembled here, I keep wanting to say made here, and I'm like, it's not made here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so then, then why are all the other companies charging us so much? But then you also have to think about the fact that Samsung and HTC and LG, they're putting high-end CPU parts, parts yeah. that, that, that we're not getting on the Moto X. So yeah, um, anything else on the Moto X? Just you know, uh, my 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 overall impression on the phone, I I wanted to say that that I, I do kind of like it, and I I do like the the idea of it, uh, the way that. You know, they went with the 720p screen instead of the 1080p. Honestly, I don't think I could ever uh, see the difference myself between a 10, 1080 and a 720. Uh, and I think most humans would not be able to see the difference. Yeah. Yeah, especially in, it's in such a, a, a small screen, like, it, it, you won't be able to... Because all the pictures are, like, so small anyways to end on a small screen Correct. yeah you know it, it's just pixels you you just personally my eyesight is just not good enough to, <laughs> to really notice the difference so. yeah <laughs> and uh appar apparently you had a little bit of a kind of like a dislike of the the lg um what's it called the lg uh G2? oh the the lg g2 that, that that got also announced recently Beautiful looking phone, absolutely gorgeous looking, very awesome specs, even though we just talked about the, how we don't <laughs> need specs. They, they are, it does have some really nice specs. I mean, it's got the new S800 Snapdragon 800 processor, mm -hmm. and it, it's a two point, I, I believe it's a 2.2 gigahertz quad core processor. 
which yeah, is fast. That's <laughs> fast. Um, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. absolutely beautiful phone. But they then they, they decided that they were gonna put the power and volume buttons on the back of the phone, that which looks- to me is just kind of weird. Yeah, they're trying to be revolutionary. Yeah, trying to be different. Like honestly, like to me, I didn't really see it as a big problem, but I can kind of see. Especially, like, if all your other phones had been, like, the buttons on the side, it's kind of awkward to, like, uh, like to touch something on the and, back. And, and you're right. It, it might very well be just a, a thing of getting used to it. And in the end, you might actually end up appreciating it more. Like I, I, Because I, it is a 5.2-inch phone. So, mm-hmm. you know, grabbing it on the sides is sometimes difficult. So I can I can certainly understand that. Um I don't know. I guess, I guess I'll have to, you know, you will have to try it. And yeah. who knows? In a couple of years, that might become the normal thing. I don't know. And uh, so, who, 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 you, you know what carrier is going to have that? I, I believe all the major carriers are supposed to have that. I, I, I'm not 100% sure. Now, Sprint, that. for sure. <laughs> Sprint at home again. They're always the last. But, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really. Yeah, so, so you have all that, uh, all that speed just. For Facebook, <laughs> yeah. Oh. I mean, like, what, what do you really need? Like, at this point, like, what can you do with you know? Correct. That that that's the thing. I I just like a, a year or two ago, I would look at phones from from the previous generation and the newest generation, and you could really see the difference yeah. because you know you, you were going from from a single core to a qu- to a do- dual core and and you could just really see the difference in the speed the way everything would fly and you know android was getting better and better um so you would you would really see the difference also between android versions now with jelly bean android went ahead and they they really sped up the thing with with the thorough what they call it the butter project butter oh yeah project um and Android just became a much smoother uh, system. And again, now, now this year I look at the new phones and I'm like, eh, it's not that different from that. Mm-hmm. You know, like everything is still very smooth. Everything opens up very fast, but everything used to be very smooth and used to open very fast. So yeah, at this point it's kind of like. Can't you, skip up. Yeah, you re- you really don't but, but see a big time, difference. At the same time, you don't want to stop the innovation either. Uh, you know, you, you want to see new ideas, and if you need more powerful processors for those I new think, ideas, then go for it. I think what they need to start working on is some kind of like, like super glass. So if you drop your phone, it doesn't break. <laughs> oh, I, I know they're working on that. So I think like a lot of the improvements can be done on the construction on the phone, like to try to make it Correct. last I, longer I, I, I and stuff believe, like that. Waterproof. I still believe that one of the biggest issues with phones is battery, and you know that is one of and the yeah. things that, that that is one of the things that the Moto S has been working on. You know, basically the the whole most of the most of the things about the Moto S that that people complain about with the 720p screen. Uh, and the dual core CPU, so that is all done just to save battery power. And from the reviews that I've been hearing, the battery is pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. Now, Motorola is stating that it's gonna last you 24 hours. Most people are saying around 16 hours, but with pretty heavy use. So, well, you know what? What? What's an improvement that they can make? Mm-hmm. Giving you more than sixteen gigabytes storage, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> onboard storage. Like at this point, you think that storage is that expensive that they they refuse to give you more no, than thirty two? You know, uh, operating systems they keep getting bigger. Mm, yeah, apps keep getting bigger. Phones keep getting stronger. But you're still stuck with the same damn sixteen gigs and thirty two gigs from a few years ago. <laughs> to me, that is ridiculous. It is time to move on to more storage. Storage is not that expensive. 
Yeah, like if you can give me an octa core processor, you can give me you can give me at least 120 gigs. Come on. <laughs> yeah, like like because you want you want you're you're always uh, you know companies are always talking about how oh this is the phone that you can use to take pictures and take video and stuff like wouldn't you want a lot of storage so you Correct. can you know carry that and, around and to make it worse most of these companies they're they're getting rid of the SD cards i mean samsung seems to be the only one left still doing that so you no know, it's like you you're at, and i know that they're pushing for a lot of cloud cloud storage yeah. but cloud storage doesn't help me when i'm going to a country that has no internet yeah <laughs> or where i'm going anywhere that has no internet and i want to save some damn movies on my phone <laughs> yeah and especially if if they're not if they don't want to give you a sd card you know they should give you 128 gigabytes at least correct you know cause some of us like having our stuff locally you know yeah especially like how much um stories does it take for like a minute of like high quality video i don't know man i would think megs. i imagine like you what if i want to make a movie using my phone now <laughs> <laughs> i need a lot of storage yeah. but yeah that's and something I, yeah that, but but it's true a lot of us have a lot of videos and pictures and and you know we we like having them there to share with people yeah it's nothing worse where when you're trying to take a picture and then your, your uh, phone says no, not, not enough memory left. And you're like, no, <laughs> got to delete something. Yeah, then you got to start going through them, see which ones suck. But I do hate SD cards when they get messed up. I mean, like, I guess they, they can get messed up, like but... right now, yeah. I got to get new. I mean, I mean that, that's something that happens, but at least give us the option to put a SD card in there. All right. So... Uh, <laughs> I made that one special for writer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... But you know who who, who annoyed me? Not, not the, I hadn't seen this until you showed me today. Uh, I guess uh, moving on. Um, the whole unboxing of the Xbox. I'm the amazing. very first unboxing of the Xbox I'm One. Xbox. How, how, like, what would it be, like, pretentious or... He do not know uh, how to do an unboxing. I mean, like, it's just, uh, it's just, it just annoyed me. Like, he's, he's like, such a... I don't know. Who, I don't, who, who are you talking about? I'm talking about uh, the guy named, uh, they known as Major Nelson. Uh, he, I guess he's, I don't even know. What position is he in, or, in uh, or Microsoft? That guy, the guy that punked um, Angry Joe. What, what, what position is he in? I, think I have no market. I don't know. He, I guess he's just basically, uh, yeah, Art. ex Microsoft's bitch. Yeah. <laughs> well, he just tries to promote everything, trying to sound cool. Like, uh, so he's like. Trying to be hip, trying to with the youngest Ma Microsoft's there. Reggie films. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, oh, the Reggie happens to be the president I, of Nintendo like, of America, but still. <laughs> <laughs> if if you look at the video, like to me, he just seemed like such a jerk. Like, like he didn't even have respect for his own. Like, like you right. know, usually when somebody does an unboxing, they they try to be like real cool, like nice and treat their, their he was just like throwing shit all over the place like yeah, hey look what i have and look when he drew the box to the floor yeah like the box. i wanted to punch him in the face <laughs> how do you feel about the fact that they're even doing an unboxing i know what four months before it comes three four months before it comes out i don't know like, to me what, it's what was the point of that video i don't get it other other than you know the only news that that we cannot get out of that is the fact that there is going to be a, a headset included <laughs> and an HDMI, HDMI cable, cable. Yeah. finally. Um, and it supports I, I, I 4K. Guess, I guess at some point in the past they had said that the headset is not going to be included. Yeah. Uh, according to him, it will be included. So that that's a good thing, I guess. Unless it's only on the day one one. No, he, he said on the day one and yeah. on the regular. All right, let's do a prediction. How many people are going to get killed? <laughs> Over the Xbox Day One Xbox Mo X Bone. I don't know. I I was just mentioning this to to Equis here that I I I know so many people are gonna be just going nuts trying to get that Day One edition that has the little test that says Day One edition. And the, it's not any different from it's the not other. any different from from the regular one, but they, it's gotta be that day one edition. Like, 
Come on, people. Like, cause I remember um, when the the PlayStation Three came out, there was like in Milwaukee, there was like at least like three stabbings over, yeah. over, and that was a PlayStation Three. I'm, I'm, and I don't know. I, I, I just can sense it that it's just gonna be, it's gonna be like the purge. Oh yeah, it's for <laughs> it's just to be you're gonna get stabbed. I'm just not going out by somebody you. wearing that. Uh, Kanye was t shirt. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, I wasted all my money on this shirt, so I'm going to steal your uh, Xbox. So, wear uh, well, but bullet, anyways, bullet huh? stab proof. I'll, I'll, and I'll be like, I don't even have an Xbox. <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't want that piece of shit right now. I'll uh, wait. How do you feel about, about the components? The, the, um, the components of the Xbox? Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the. Oh, right, I'll go straight to the one. I'm okay, yeah, about. okay. That that damn power cube. Uh, at this day and age, like I don't understand why you need that big ass brick to power. Like, shouldn't it, I mean the 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 exponent is the box, the actual console. It's the, <laughs> is the ex, it's, it's, the actual box is like huge. It looks big. Unless, unless a major Nelson had like small hands or something, it, but, it looks really big to me. Why can't the power supply be in there? I don't know. Like, like I was mentioning to you, um, with the original Xbox, I've always hated that huge power supply, uh, that power brick, and you know the the original PlayStation Three is not it's not that much bigger than the original Xbox. And the PlayStation 3 didn't have that, so why did the Xbox have it? And now I notice that the Xbox One has another one that looks even bigger than the previous one. And I'm like, what the hell? Why? The system looks huge, and it's got that huge power brick, which I hate. I don't know if there's any real uh, benefit to it being outside, but... Maybe have I mean, more I, stuff inside. I guess the only thing I can think of, if it's even... I don't even know, but it's just that it doesn't heat up the console. Maybe. Maybe, but and but it's it's annoying. <laughs> it's fucking annoying. Sorry, but I, I was gonna say that that you know the, the PlayStation 3 has been known to mm. to like get a uh, overheating issues and, and get that yellow light of death, but it's not like the Xbox didn't have the the red the, ring of red death. ring of death, so I want, how yeah. many Xbox will get the red ring of death? I mean, I'm pretty sure, that especially the early ones, where until some guy from Google finds out all the, <laughs> all the, no, the, the, the glitches and the bugs in the system. It's always some guy from Nintendo. No, yeah, it's right. always got some guy from Nintendo. Oh, speak, speaking of Nintendo. Oh, yeah, speaking of Nintendo. Of death. Um, is it really a surprise? <laughs> so apparently, the last quarter, they only sold like 160,000. Uh, units of the Wii U, like um, worldwide. Like I, I think a lot of people will like see that number and be like, one hundred sixty thousand. That's 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 a, that's a good number. Yeah. But like, no, it's not. It, it is not. Not for like the the PS3, which people are not buying now because of the PS4 that's gonna be coming out. That's still selling more than one hundred sixty thousand. And, and, and those numbers are worldwide. I, I do believe they're worldwide. Yes. Okay. If it was just the United States, then it, it'll be kind of like okay, it's not that bad. But if it is worldwide, you know that's that's that horrible. horrible. It, it, it is selling right now less than what the GameCube was selling at this point in that slide. Now, you do have to take into consideration the fact that when the GameCube was selling, it was not. It didn't have all this competition that gaming has with tablets. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's one factor to look at. And it, it might actually be a huge factor because Nintendo has always been the place for for a lot of mini games and stuff like that. And now most people are playing those mini games on, on tablets and cell phones. And does Nintendo still sell their product as a toy instead of a console? No, they're, they're consoles. It's not a toy no more. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll see what what happens with the GameCube. I don't know if they're gonna be able to with the GameCube. 
with the Wii U. <laughs> the GameCube. I don't know if they're gonna be able to save this one, but um, I, I still have hope that if they they come out with some good games, yeah, it'll, it'll do better. Now, for those people that are uh, that are worried of, of what's gonna happen with Nintendo. I wouldn't be worried just yet because Nintendo still has pretty large cash, yeah, uh, cash uh, savings. Uh, you know, just just pure cash, they have like over four billion dollars, so they're 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 okay for a while. Yeah, because I don't think that the 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 Wii U had any like groundbreaking like Innovation. next generation Correct. anything. It, so it, it, so it it did not cost. It did not cost them that much to research and develop. I mean, so they're they're, they're obviously doing bad now. They they still actually made a profit, um, and it's mostly because of the of the three DS. That that sucker is still selling quite a bit, and it's still making money for them. Um, but even even if they started posting losses, they they, they can. They can go quite a few years without without really making any money, and still be okay. And you know, you got to remember, Nintendo is over a hundred years old, so it's just a, a little issue they're dealing with right now. And Nintendo and can they, they'll adapt. And and I think that all all that it is is just the games. Yeah. Because like, I have a Wii U. You have a Wii U. Everybody has, a but Wii. <laughs> no, no, not everybody. everybody. Has a Wii. But uh, but what games have you played? Like we already beat the the fun game, <laughs> correct. So like, what other game is there to play? Like right now, there's really nothing unless you're a Pikmin fan. Yeah, but right, right now there's absolutely nothing, and that's the problem. You know, they they need to come out with games, and I'm pretty sure that as soon as they come out with some games. They'll be selling some systems. I'm pretty sure by um, 2014. No, by um, Black Friday they'll have some games, and <laughs> that's one year already. But you know, even if the Wii U ends up being, you know, this generation's Virtual Boy, <laughs> um, that I think in a while, in a way, they they deserve it because they they got way too comfortable with the huge success that they have with the Wii. Yeah. Um, where they just kind of forget about making more games, <laughs> and it's funny that that um this Wii U, they were like at the when before they released it, they were talking about how they were gonna get more third party games like yeah. Call of yeah. Duties and and all that. That they, they were gonna be like more, like, they're gonna have more adult games or whatever. <laughs> but now the developers are not doing anything for them because yeah, it's not worth it for them. Um. I'm even wondering what the Bayonetta people are thinking. Like, is it even they're, worth they're, they're it? Gonna, they're going to eventually release it for like uh, yeah, the I'm PlayStation sure they will, 3. But right now, they got to be like, damn it. Like, why can't we just send us straight to the, to the other systems? Well, th- but Nintendo, Nintendo did pay to, to de- get that game developed. I so, guess. Probably don't want to sell to other com- competition. They need to all give us more money. I mean, like we said, if, if I think if they do have a price drop, a fifty dollar price drop in each uh, uh, one, respectively. I, I, I believe I read somewhere that they are not planning on doing a price drop, which I believe would be a huge mistake. So we'll we'll see. Because you said that they discontinued the white one. They did. Okay, so it's just the black one. Yes. All right. So then the black one is uh three hundred. Three fifty. Three fifty. So yeah, they need they need to price. Cause yeah. how much is the shield? Shield is three fifty or fifty, I believe, might be three hundred. So did the price? But you know the 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 S phone. I mean the the PS four is gonna be four hundred. So can't have a uh three hundred and fifty dollars Wii U. Who's gonna buy that? Yeah, they need to drop it to two fifty. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, like and it, you'll only get thirty two gigabytes of storage anyway. So yeah. You have to buy a, a hard drive additionally if you want to. What is it with companies and thirty two gigs? I know yeah. that's like who that, decided that, thirty two gigs is gonna be the the ultimate. <laughs> it's Illuminati, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know the thirty thirty three degrees, so they put one below the thirty three. Oh shit! Hey, wrong wrong podcast. Conspiracy theory. Yeah, that's for the the other podcast I have where, on Tuesdays. Where's the where's the aluminum 
foil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so or aluminium. I know, yeah, thirty-two aluminium. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it's that's how it's spelled out. But until they changed it, but um, yeah, there was something else that um that was going on. Um, do you remember? You remember? You, uh, remember. you remember? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Oh, but um, it, it it was probably something like life changing. Yeah. Wait, all, I think I think I have I have my uh no my show notes. Oh, well, while you look at your show notes, I did want to mention a new change uh from Verizon. They they decided to go ahead and up op- and and give the option. Oh yeah. Uh, bring a new option of data plan. So right now with Verizon, you just the, the way data works is you, you get shared data for all your lines to share, mm-hmm. and the lowest amount of data that you could go with, I believe, was it was one gigabyte uh, for. I want to say it was sixty. I want to say it was sixty dollars. Um, so, so now there might have been fifty dollars. Anyway, now they're coming out with a new five hundred megabyte plan. <laughs> wow! So you can share <laughs> for forty dollars. What? So, so you know, it, it used to be if you wanted one gigabyte of data, and and you have a smartphone. Uh, just to have a smartphone on Verizon, it's gonna cost you forty dollars a month. So forty plus the fifty dollars for the one gigabyte of data, it, it was you know ninety bucks. So now you can have a smartphone for only eighty dollars a month if you're okay with five hundred gigabytes. I mean five hundred megabytes. Of so data. after five hundred, does it? Uh, throttle or like slow down no, or after you 500 uh they charge you, you for if, another if you gig go over they will charge you 15 dollars for every gigabyte now verizon does let you throughout the month they do let you change so if you know that you went over you can upgrade to the next plan uh, which would be the one gigabyte in this case which would cost more. you 10 bucks more which is better than 15 than 15 might as well Verizon. It it's basically useless. I, I can't it's think stupid. of I can't think of unless you, you don't use it. unless you use the Wi Fi. Unless you oh yeah, unless like you're always at a spot where you usually do have Wi Fi. But then why why even have I don't know. I mean sometimes maybe you're in your car. <laughs> yeah, in I guess it, so, some people I guess want smartphones and they don't want the data. to use the data, but that's the part that that sucks for me because you still have to pay those forty bucks for basically no data. Yeah, and um, yeah, I was looking at my show notes, and I guess the uh, another story that we had was the whole Samsung, Apple, um, and Obama. Oh yeah, Obama, <laughs> Obama. Yeah. Okay, I did not know that. Like, I guess I should have paid more attention in civics class. <laughs> but I didn't know that like, Obama could could do that did, did you uh, did you read any more okay so so here's the story uh the samsung had won a case on the international trades commission which is actually the united states international trades commission <laughs> where basically it, uh, it it allowed them the right to ban importations of the iphone 4 yeah the original iphone 4 and the iPad 2. Now, both of these are devices that you wouldn't think Apple really sells that much, but they do sell them. You know, a lot of places give you a free iPhone 4 if you sign up for two years. Anyway, so right before the ban was supposed to take place, uh, President Obama vetoed the ban. So Apple is then able to import their iPhone 4 and the iPad 2. Um, so in a way, it's like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, 
you yeah. know, in, in a way, I I can understand the, the president wanting to to protect, I guess, the the American company against the South Korean company, but it's like, should he? Like, I don't know. Like, what's what's the point of having the International Trades Commission if you're just gonna veto them when they make such decisions? It, it kind of sometimes like. It's funny because a lot of people always talk about, you know, especially like you always hear Fox News talking about like Obama's such a so socialist, but like it couldn't be farther from the truth. Like I, I'm, like it makes you kind of think like if Apple's, you know, paying Obama, on the, I mean, I, yeah, I, I don't he, know. he can he can like say, oh, I'm trying to protect an American company, but and, and I, you know, I, if, if this is his his stance. Like, I I absolutely hate the whole banning idea on on devices, and Apple has done it in the past. By the way, they have banned Samsung devices from coming into the country, and I absolutely hate the idea. I I think it's horrible to to try and and, and you know do that to the cons consumers. Um. So. If this is Obama's way of saying, you know what, from now on, I'm I'm just not gonna allow this shit anymore. I'm cool with that. Yeah. But but and that would be great for Samsung also. And you know, even right now, it's great for Samsung because even even if Samsung was to lose another one of their many disputes against Apple, um, and Apple tries to put a ban on them, you know, this is gonna come back. Yeah. And they're gonna be like, but wait, you know. I hope that this is the the, the administration's way of finally doing something about all this uh, back and forth that's been going on between Apple and Samsung and so many other companies. Uh, we know for a fact the patent system is messed up. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> so yeah, cause, I yeah. guess we'll see. Yeah, especially because a lot of times companies patent stuff that they haven't even. You know, right. done anything like yeah, they're ideas, but I can come up with good ideas. Doesn't mean I'm able to patent them. And yeah, I, I come up with great ideas all the time. I just came up with an awesome idea for a what's it like a, a ad sponsored oh, hospital. Oh yeah, and where, where where you get operated or your operation, your heart operation is brought to you by Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's yeah, but why can't we patent that? Yeah, I mean, I guess we had money, but I mean, just because you patent something doesn't mean that you're gonna be able to make it. It's just a, a good idea. A patent. There you go. I wonder if there's a patent on patents. Anyway, <laughs> blew my mind like hypercubes in fourth dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I guess that uh basically wraps up uh the podcast today. Does anybody, anybody have, have anything else? Yeah, I guess we're both looking at Victoria, you know, like I guess just like a, a minor correction from the past one where we talked about the Ace Combat. I guess it's gonna be a remake. Yeah, uh, maybe. I think. I mean, it's not big news, but yeah, I, I was playing um, word number four. Well, I guess number that four it will be remake. And just for the record, we we still dislike uh, Radio Shack employees, right? Mm -hmm. Radio Shack. Yes. Oh yeah, and uh, we never went back to um, Blockbuster. <laughs> oh yeah, we forgot about the deals. Yeah, I wonder if um, it's still there. <laughs> Grand closing. Yeah. It's still seven bucks. Oh, and we forgot to mention you—you you did have a chance to to get that. Oh yeah, but you didn't. <laughs> oh yeah, I could have bought that. Oh yeah, but I didn't. And that was probably a great move because the reviews are not very good. <laughs> I guess I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna have a price drop eventually. Fifty dollars. I don't know. To like fifty bucks. Would I buy it then? I don't know. I mean how about like a uh, like game exchange or something? It was there and it was fifty bucks and I was disappointed with the rest of the stuff they had there. I would probably consider it. I, I would I, I would like to see it do more, you know. Like I would like to see it like run a full Android on the on the on the TV and let me web browse and stuff like that. Oh, you can't do it. It is running Android. I don't think so. I think it just, as far as I know, it just lets you play games. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, how hard would that be to let you run the Android and browse I, and everything? I don't know. All right. So I, I I do believe we are done for today. This concludes episode 10 of the P- GameX Presents, the hey, podcast. But before we go off, if you're an Elder Scroll fan, you might want to pick up the Wayne and pick up the Elder Scrolls and what do you call it? The Antagonist? Oh, there's going to be an anth- anthology. Anthology. It's going to have every single game, so don't buy it until it comes out. And it's going to be for the PC only. So it's sorry, it's, console. It's, it's like a, one of those, uh, what is it, Steam, no. Steam Packs? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a Steam Pack. No, but it's going to come. I know it's going to come. Because I know it's going to be no, like. It gonna, no, it's going to be in CD. I mean, every game comes in CDs, but they also have it in, it in it the Steam. It comes with maps. No, it comes with the maps. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll have it on Steam. No, I, I was just referring to to the whole, you know, having a bunch of of them together, one pack. Yeah. I, I I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a, like a nice little pack. Yeah. Cool. So it's gonna have like the even All to the, the very th- first ones, which I had never played. I tried playing, but I kind of like got bored. Although like that's my be, review of the game. Although I do want to <laughs> play more. I tried playing uh, and I got bored. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Morrowind. Because I started playing that on the that was on the regular Xbox, right? But it's like I guess it's I tried playing that once I already had like the, 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 the Xbox 360. So once you go back to the older games, you're like, eh, I don't want to play that. And you know what else? Remember when we're trying to play um arenas, we couldn't get out like the first level. We're like in the dungeon and we can't get out. Yeah, we were going in circles. But maybe once they release this pack and we buy it, we might actually want to play. Yeah. But uh, yep. So again, concluding. <laughs> Uh, episode 10 of the Game X Presents podcast. Um, this is Equis. This is Stuff. And that's Victorino. And that's Victorino there. signing off. He's busy with his iPod or whatever, even though he has a perfect He's, he's busy playing with his thing. <laughs> he's he's got a Galaxy S4. And he's playing and with the he's iPod. He's playing with the iPod Touch. Hey, the battery life. It's, it's not even a, a, a fifth gen iPod Touch. <laughs> Yeah, it's the fourth gen. I'm the fourth gen. I'm getting the sixth gen though. It's not out yet. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, and uh, what? Stay tuned for your video. <laughs> I'm still working on my video. It should come out. It, it soon. will come out tomorrow. So definitely by the time with by the time you listen to this, check out uh, my video on T-Mobile, AT and T, and Verizon and their uh, early upgrade plans. That's gonna be over at AnarchyLive.com. Um, so yeah, remember that you can follow us at, and you can follow us. Uh, uh yeah, I guess you can follow us on uh, Twitter. It's, it's on the description, but it's you know. on the description. And I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna try to make a like a special segment for that. Special segment. A, a special like soundbite. So hopefully you'll hear this in about five seconds. All right, so oh, we're mm. out in five. Good four, night. Three. Two, one. Love you. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's me, Equis, again. And I just want to say thank you for listening to the GameX Presents podcast. If you made it this far, that must mean that we did something right and that you enjoy the show. And if you did, please make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus and YouTube. Anything is appreciated. Comments, email us at gamexpresents at gmail.com. If you have any questions or any topics you would like us to discuss, make sure to contact us. This is Eki signing off for GameX Presents. Peace.